Okay, to understand this better, let's look at this whole entire chart a little better and all of the descriptions here that we have. Okay, so it takes four great years. So if we look at these pie pieces, just like we have these pie pieces in here, it's telling you the same thing that this circle is. I just stuck this circle in here so that you could understand it better. Now this does work like a mechanism, but I don't have it calculated accurately. I do have it calculated accurately in symbol, but I would actually have to shift these to get these points to line up at the particular alignments. And I just didn't take the time of that. It's a whole nother video, but you can understand in symbol that this pie portion from this point to this point takes 25,625 years, roughly 26,000 years. The same thing that it takes in this circle. This circle is just this portion of the pie chart. These are roughly 5,000 year periods. These are those very same 5,000 year periods. 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 25,000. Now that's approximation. Now really it's closer to 26,000 years. And we have to give approximations because of the way that the constellations, the procession of the equinox cycles itself. Not all of the zodiac signs pass through the ecliptic at the same portion of time. Meaning some of the sun signs, some of the zodiac signs are shorter. Some of the zodiac signs are longer in years than the others. So we have to give an approximation for these signs. And the accepted approximation is about 26,000 years for this great year cycle. So if I want to count back, like I said, now seven of these separate 70 generation cycles, in other words, 70 generation cycles are equaling roughly 5,000 year increments. Now, if I want to count back seven of them, this is where I leave this great year cycle and I enter into the next great year cycle. So in other words, we bypass 26,000 year marker and now we begin to go back beyond 26,000 years in date. And if we do that, we'll find out the correct interpretation for the starting date of the Garden of Eden. We're gonna go 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 25,000. Roughly 26,000 years completes the end of this great year cycle. We enter into another great year cycle. 30,000, 35,000. So as I said, the correct calculation is more appropriate at 36,288 BC. And I, you'll see me how I arrive at that at that other series. But this is exactly where we get this judgment that says it's going to be seven separate 70 generation cycles and then we're going to have that spiritual judgment so we would count back from here one two three four five six seven boom so in the way that i've been doing everything i've been working everything from reverse i'm taking the information that we're given today and working it back in time to get to the original root that's why you always hear me say i give you the root and, you know, that's the ability I got to see into the distance, the very distance of the very beginning of this whole thing. So that's exactly what the book of Enoch is telling you. That's exactly what the Bible is telling you. But what I need to tell you here is that you're seeing a spiritual judgment being prophesied to take place from this point all the way to here. Well, at these points, we haven't had any spiritual judgments. They've all been physical. There's been the rise and fall of civilizations at each and every one of these points. And you can prove it. You go back at about 5,000 years, guess what? We have the sudden emergence of the Sumerian civilization. You go back about 10,500 years, it's the popular theory for the start of the Egyptian civilization. But in all actuality, the Egyptian civilization starts at the same time period also. It's closely related to the same time period of the Garden of Eden. And I already show that in a unique way in that other video. But it begins to make sense when we begin to understand that these beings have been bound, if I'm telling you in the pyramids, for these 70 generations of period of time. Well, then, of course, the Egyptian civilization, not the modern one that you're taught to look at, but the original one of which the pyramids of Giza are, which really isn't the Egyptian civilization. It's what the Egyptian civilization is built around. So these pyramids are here at this time at about the 36,000 year mark. I'll be back.